I'm here today in good company to, to talk about um, air dominance at the Raytheon technology stands. So um, I have with me Major General Retired John Norman. John, can you tell us a bit about you? Yes, please. Um, hi, I'm John Norman. I'm with Raytheon Missile and Defense Air Power, and I, I work the requirements and capabilities section of, of our business, and really excited to be here with you today. Nice to meet you, John. And also with Eric Dittmar. So Eric, what do you do for Raytheon? Yes, I'm Eric Dittmars. I work for Raytheon Intelligence in Space. I am the president of an organization known as Secure Sensor Solutions. Great. Well, thank you very much both for being here with me today. So, um, John, could you tell us a bit more about what air dominance means? Air dominance, it's taking advantage of all the sensors, of the platforms, and the weapons to be able to hold any adversary at risk anywhere in the world. And we do it very, very well. We present such a threat that we're able to deter any type of hostile action. So starting with the sensor side of the equation, uh, Eric, could you tell us a bit more about how Raytheon is uh, helping on this side? Oh, absolutely, so Raytheon Intelligence in Space has a multitude of different types of sensors that we've designed and developed jointly with our customers to be able to successfully execute a mission in a variety of contested environments. So whether it's one of our fire control radars, they're providing targeting capabilities, our surveillance radars, which are providing intel to understand what troop movements are going on or what's happening in the field, or whether some of our offensive, like EW systems, electronic warfare, which we use to suppress the enemy systems to allow for our uh, customers to be able to engage and execute their mission with impunity, without any kind of resistance. They can do what they need to do and come home safely each and every time for their mission. Right, and is there a capability in particular that you're excited about that you're showing here at Farnborough? Yes, so for my organization, our newest product is what we call the Phantom Strike Radar. Mm -hmm. It's a new compact size AESA, an actively electronically scanned array. It's a new product that we developed from the ground up when we recognized that there was a need for a lower cost, lower weight, roughly 80% less weight than our typical AESA radar. It comes in at half the cost. It draws two-thirds less power, mm -hmm. so it has a really broad portfolio of opportunities for it to be utilized, mm -hmm. both domestically and internationally. Right, many applications. Yes, very much so. And obviously one of the big stars of the show, and everyone wants to hear about it, is the F-35. Yes. Uh, anything in particular in terms of what's happening with the F-35 and sensors? Yes, so for the F-35 we use a system called EODAS. We actually have a new version that we're deploying we call RDAS. That capability now can be deployed beyond just the F-35 aircraft, so we're taking next generation technology and being able to deploy it onto other platforms. So um, thank you very much, Eric, for, uh, for this. And I would like now to move on to the effector side of the uh, air dominance equation. So John, can you tell us a bit about the, um, you know, what Raytheon is offering on this side? Sure. Um, you know, we, we offer the Advanced Medium Range Air to Air Missile, so the AMRAAM. It's been around for a while. So we recently did a complete revamp of the entire electronic stack. Computers run faster. Missile performs better. We're able to get significantly more range out of the missile. As, as a former Air Force fighter pilot, I look at that and it's, it's always a lot cheaper and it's a lot faster if I can do product improvement on, on an existing program or record because I've already paid for all the integration. I have the supply chain. I have all the training. I just want that thing to work better. So if I can deliver that type of capability improvement, that's, that's money well spent. Um, anything that we can look forward to in the next you know, few months, a few years, any changes that you're looking at? Well, right, right now it's the fielding of it's the F-3R, so that's our D-3 and C-8. It's a phenomenal missile. That's initially going to come out with a software improvement program, SIP-3 software. Greatly enhances the capability of that, of that weapon against the jamming that our adversaries would do. Uh, so it keeps keeps the probability of kill very very high. So if I shoot it, I'm going to I'm going to take an enemy aircraft out. And any big news, you know, about the AMRAM or anything that you would like to share with us that you will be sharing during the show? Oh, we we had a, our very first flight with the D3 was a success, and we had that right at the end of of June. So very first time out of the shoot, first time trying it, first time flying it, it worked perfectly. Great. Thank you, John. And what about you, Eric? Anything exciting that you're excited about about this show? Well, just the chance to collaborate. As you're seeing here today, Raytheon Technologies is a total organization bringing the best from Pratt & Whitney, from Collins, from Missile and Defense, and from Intelligence and Space. Uh, great opportunity for us to showcase how those four powerful companies can work together to create the capabilities that they can only be provided by this company because we have the technology, the expertise, the ability to integrate those things together. We have 
experts across a very large set of organizations that we can bring to bear and work together to create those unique solutions that will allow us to solve those problems and have the mission uh, flown successfully. So we're really excited about that. Very exciting teamwork. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, John. And have a wonderful show. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.